All right, I have this really hilarious story. So this eighth grader in the UK, he got in trouble because he was throwing a rave in the school bathroom. Oh, oh shit. shit. Next fucking wow. level. Yeah. <gasps> so he had his own like DJ equipment and he was like doing a set and he was he also had like uh, what are, like lights, flashing, lights. strobe lights. lights. Yeah, the strobe lights and shit. And so <laughs> wait, during the equipment. pandemic, uh, yeah, this is December. Yeah, from December. Good for them. Winter Wonderland. <laughs> While class was in session, or it was just the school was empty and he wanted to throw a rave there. So it oh. was. So it was on a Friday night. Okay. They're saying at dinner time. So I don't know. Like I'm assuming Supper. That, that's after school time. Yeah. Um, he actually promoted this rave of his via Snapchat. And so he Who the fuck uses a Snapchat? Not the adults, that's smart though. You see? So you you just sent it to all the kids. All right, back Snapchat's on. making a comeback, I heard. What? Mm, I'm not on it. What? Why, if you had all that space, why pick a bathroom? Bathrooms no. are small. Well, probably because the acoustics. The yeah, the Adult acoustics. wouldn't find out about the bathroom. True. And if you need to throw up, you could do it right there. That's, that's only like 10 people. <laughs> It's very exclusive. <laughs> Unless it's like an airport bathroom, that's mad. You probably have to get there early to get a stall because they really like, <laughs> yeah. fill up. You yeah, reserve your own VIP stall. I'm that's like, fucking fun. Social distancing. Because I'm only assuming that it's at night and they kind of broke into the school and all that. And I'm all like, just why don't you just use the fucking gym? It's bigger. Ooh, maybe they call bathrooms and locker rooms the same thing. Oh, they're like British or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like British. No, they said the boys lose. Lose. Oh, they call them lose. That's true. That's lose. the bathroom. Is it British? Mm. Yeah, it's in the UK. Yeah, oh. in Manchester. And so, Manchester. Oh, I yeah. thought this was Russia for some reason. What? Why did I think that? <laughs> <laughs> We're warming up. We're warming okay, okay. up. Brain's not there all the way. So I don't know much about this school, but me just trying to connect the dots. I'm assuming it's one of those like like board like boarding schools. Harry Potter oh. school. I was thinking oh. Harry Potter kind of school because they're See? saying that this was like at dinner time, and then so when he uh, got sent. Home, his mom took a photo of him because, like, like he's all he's rolling his eyes. <laughs> it's on next to like a motherfucker, yeah. And so, she got oh. a photo of him. Was, Why didn't you just tell me it was Hogwarts right before he got? Uh, <laughs> he was like, that kid was threw like, a rave, that's, that's so, so cute. Great. He's already fucking terrified, too. He's like, shit, I'm gonna get scolded. Oh, shit. no fucking way. That fucking cute ass little boy. A 12 year old, he threw a rave. This is Why literally. Age. Why does he look like he plays rugby and shit? I was hoping he would look like Skrillex. <laughs> I know. He like, does have kind of a Skrillexy, yeah. sort of. And I also have a video. <laughs> yes. Uh, of the wraith? It's his same equipment, but in his bedroom. Oh, okay. And I, I'm assuming this is like his little brother or something in the. <laughs> Put your hands together! <laughs> so look at this. <laughs> oh, nice. hey. Is there another kid? Next yeah, there's year? another kid. He's got a passion. He's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's really good. I would yeah. not. So He's if he good. was my kid, I think I'd be pissed, right? Because I'm like, bro, like, this is school. We have to like follow the rules. You want to set a good example, yada yada yada. But then, but yes. But then I'd be like, dude, let's fucking nurture that shit. Yeah. Like, you're good. So we're gonna let's, drop out of school. Yeah, buy you some, some drugs. Molly. You see, baby? Get you ready. See? Look at you. But it's the conflict Kiss. that, uh, and the adversity that helps the entrepreneurship. So I'm kind of like into Yeah, it. like he's fucking good. Like if his parents, like I'm like, yes, let's discipline his ass, but I'll be bro, I'm I'll gonna be yell at you here. while I give you this for Christmas. Yeah, no? Here's some turntables. Yeah. I'm gonna yell at you for getting caught, you dumbass. True. <laughs> That's <laughs> uncle. I yell at them, and then me and Nikki are off somewhere, and I'm like, we did fucking good. This kid's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys, uh, you guys will be like more stricter than this mom apparently, because she said that she told him that he will not be getting in trouble at home at all. And that uh -huh. they were just thought it was really funny. Oh, I love it. Uh, that was it. That's, I love it. Yeah. yeah. I fucking, I'm with it. And I love it. the DJ yeah. my next brunch, please. And then also they were saying that, uh, so this kid was saying how everyone, all the boys in, during this raid, they were passing around chocolates and energy drinks. Aww. And that they just all had so a wholesome. great time. And they're listening to Christmas music. I mean, what the fuck kind of raid is this? That's so jingle fucking bell, jingle awesome. Bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle, jingle. So it was an all boys rave. That's why. I 
at the, the thing is, in the bathroom. The teachers actually took away his equipment. What? Yeah. So as soon as they caught him, they took away the equipment, and so we're hoping Buzz he's gonna kills. get it back. I mean, I, I get it. So. I you get know, it. if they make it underground, they force people to do illegal things like this. You know what I mean? They should yeah. like encourage it and be like, okay, we're gonna have a school dance Friday night. You should be head of the rave committee. Now. Oh, right? dude, they'll have a GoFundMe for this kid. I'd fucking throw, throw something in to get him his equipment back. At least he got to play a set for a solid 30 minutes before he got caught. That's Bart, I just found out Bart threw a rave at his high school um, and I don't think he shared that with you guys here. I did it the right way though. What's that, you got permits? What, with drugs? <laughs> no, so like my senior year. <laughs> he only invited the cool people. <laughs> no, like senior year at Keppel, um, that's when I was like, you know what, I think I should be more integrated into the school. And I was, you know, like when you're about to leave school and you kind of see people going off to college and going off to better things, you're like, I think I'm kind of a loser and I didn't really do anything. So I was trying to get more integrated into school, so I joined ASB and then I just got out of my whole uh, like rave face so I've been to like a ton of underground parties and stuff and one of my homies, they have like a house crew. And then so um, I've been with them to a bunch of shows before and at our school auditorium at the time, if the basketball court was here, the DJ would usually be down here on the floor and there's like bleachers over here. And then I'm like, why don't we flip it the other way around and then we'll have the DJ like feel like a god and we'll get like we'll get trust systems and lights and <laughs> and base cabinets and everything. So at this point, is is raving though still underground? It's still kind of underground. Okay. Um. So like, I mean, all the regular good kids, they don't really know what's going on. So I'm like, this is gonna blow everyone's fucking brains. So we had him come and set up. There's fucking lasers, like lights. Cause usually, you know, like <laughs> high school dances is just like rainbow colors that go like this. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. like, and a disco ball. Yeah, we're gonna have fucking <laughs> lasers, the craziest shit. We're gonna bring in like uh, those speaker cabinets that vibrate the entire floor. And so we set it up like crazy, and then he started his set, and it was going nuts. And Wait, I would what just, was going nuts? Like the music. Oh, okay. Like the like he would have crazy breakdowns. Like how did you guys get all the equipment? Oh no, because he he is in a DJ crew, oh. so they have all the equipment. Oh okay, right. gotcha. So I got all that set up, and then so I thought everyone was gonna have a crazy time, like how I imagined. But I looked around and everyone was just like confused. What the fuck is? Because I, I think everyone just wants hip hop, right? They just want to dance. Because everyone's like a normal kid. And then they'll be like, it'll be like, Meow. and I'm like, fuck yeah! And I look around at all the other high schoolers, and everyone's like, what the fuck is up with this music? That reminds me of Back to the Future when he's like fucking going crazy with the guitar in the night. Yes, oh, like right. that, exactly. They weren't, they weren't ready. It also reminds me of a playlist live party. And, and <laughs> yeah, you know the DJ fucking thinks this is so epic, ass. and everyone yeah. else is just kind of like, "What? I don't know, man." Yeah, oh. I, was, I was dancing in the front, and I'm like, "Fuck yeah!" And I turn around, and everyone's like, "They don't know how to act." They're like, "Barky, we're not getting them again." <laughs> you were too forward, man. Because I actually really went bad. to uh, 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 like help out my friend DJ at a, a high school like seven years ago or six years ago, and then they. Everything was like a rave. Oh, shit. and then the kids were like, "Yeah, that was normal." How did you feel? I was like, "This is crazy, man." I think I was too forward. I was like, "They should have had this when we were in high school." No, you always want what the older people have. So at that time, like the older people were into like the hip hop stuff. Like they, so then the kids wanted that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't oh, ready. Yeah. 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 So now ready. it's like, oh, they, that like Dead was Mouse was cool and all this stuff. So they're. Make I never went to any fucking dances, so I'm just like, were they even cool? Did you not get asked? I was just not allowed, so oh. it was just one of those like, pff, if I, I get asked, both their friends, but it's, not. It's more of a friends thing, but the dance itself is the, it's not the cool part. Oh, I see. Yeah, you could go to other schools' dances too. I think I went to more other schools than um, my own. own. Yeah. Yeah, because you could start fights with rival gangs and yeah. stuff. Oh, that's cool. We oh, went yeah. there to fight. <laughs> that was fun. All I got to do was just like walk by the door, and I was like, "All right, my mom's gonna pick me up," and I'm like, "Oh, fuck!" This Honestly, I think about it, and I remember my middle school dances, and I remember teachers coming up and separating kids because we would be grinding yeah. in middle school. That was fun. I mean, now they call it twerking it. I don't know, whatever. But yeah, back then it was called grinding. Ew! I'm like, get the fuck off, you nasty little perverts. <laughs> Ugh. I know, I remember fun. that. You don't even know how to wipe your ass properly. Ugh. <laughs> With the baggy jeans. I remember like the dudes be having like the baggiest jeans, but then they'd be like trying yeah. to fucking hump you and everything. I never did the hump thing. I was just, I just fucking rip it up, but I, I wasn't a humper. Not a big humper. <laughs> Still not, by the way. <laughs> Rubbing <laughs> genitals. This Sorry. is true. <laughs> he does not hump. Rubbing genitals is nice. We do rub genitals. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> we do not hump. What's the difference? One's like this, and then the other one's like. 
grinding. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. It's like that TikTok <laughs> effect. She, well, she's doing that, and I'm going I'm like this. <laughs> oh, dear God, look at it, dear God. <laughs> I was asked to go to the prom once. Oh, really? You were yeah, asked? I was asked. I found out how much it was for like... <gasps> how did three fingers fit in your <laughs> eyes? <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking cute. <laughs> you just put three fingers in there. What are you supposed to do? I don't know, usually just rub it. Like, in this way? <laughs> no, this way. <laughs> You gotta do this way. I usually way. use this knuckle, it's just the cleaner. one knuckle. Yeah, that's probably cleaner. No, you know why? Because the uh, skin here is so much more softer than this skin. And this oh. is dirtier. Because yeah. you're touching things all day, well, but then the back of your hand, I'm not touching nothing. But yeah. why three is yeah, our yeah, problem? It it's not three, it's the middle finger with support from oh, the other support. two. <laughs> oh. Anchor point, there it is. Yeah. I love it. So I was asked to go to the prom and then, um, I saw how much money it was going to cost. It was like hundreds of dollars yeah. for the limo and the clothes and then the, and I said, I ain't gonna pay for that shit. And then I hung up. Oh fuck. Well, I didn't, hung, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. You could have just said, I don't want to get a limo and do all this shit. I was like, why you want to spend this money? Let's go fucking like to the beach or something. Wait, you didn't have like a friend group to all pitch in for the limo at least? No, that was the pitch in. Oh. So like if we pitched in for like, I still have to get my clothes and all that and stuff. Right. And then I was like, man, I don't, I don't know. It's ridiculous. Like. I could fucking, if you want to go on a date, let's do it that, but. Yo, yeah, what was that rose thing too you had to get? Oh, that's that's a croissant. Shit. No, wait, yeah. a croissant. <laughs> <laughs> a baguette, was it? A croissant. A croissant. A croissant. You know what's funny? Because yeah. I saw the corsage going on until you said <laughs> <laughs> croissant, and it's <laughs> So I'm like, oh, croissant. <laughs> Can you imagine? That's cheap, You though. go up and you bust out a croissant like this, she's like, the fuck? Well, I'm supposed to get like, a croissant, that's right? That's what you said, right? Right, where's my croissant? I put it in a little plastic container. <laughs> yeah, then she's out on the prom wearing a croissant, and she's like, fuck. She gets the flower, she's like, what is this shit? No one does this. Dude, she's getting grinded on while she has a croissant on her head. <laughs> she has a snack on her wrist. <laughs> that sounds way more fun. It does.